Hi there, I'm Nicole Gregg, the Executive Director of the New Hampshire Film Festival, and we are absolutely thrilled to have Mike O'Malley in the house with us. He's kicking off this year's festival with his screening of Certainty tonight. And Mike, welcome. We're so excited to have you. How does it feel to be Thank back you, in New Hampshire? Nicole. I'm so happy to be here. It, uh, you know, I, I grew up in Nashville. I went to UNH. I, my first job as an actor was over at Prescott Park in the um, you know, little shop of horrors. Then I came back the next summer. I was in uh, No No Net. That's when my musical career ended. And, um, <laughs> and uh, I started to try to find other work in uh, the entertainment business that didn't have anything to do with doing musicals, but it's, it's just really great to be here. It's, it's um, you know, I can remember when I was first out of college and I went over to, I think it was Macro Polo, to get this really cool notebook, and that's when I really started kind of writing and thinking about being a writer and writing plays and screenplays. And so for it to really come full circle for me to be here and screening this film that is an adaptation, adaptation of a play that I've worked on and means so, so much to me. Um, you know, the characters in the film are, if not based on, you know, folks that I went to school with, it is inspired by the kinds of friendships that I had at the University of New Hampshire continue to have when I moved down to New York, and it's just, uh, it's just really thrilling for me to be here. It's, it's a very proud moment for me, so I thank you for including me here. Well, that's awesome. Well, so are you excited? Are you going to be catching up with some old friends? Oh, yeah. Here? Man, I have, um, I have so many friends who are coming up from Boston and from Nashua, I have friends here still live in Portsmouth in the Seacoast area. Um, my mom and dad are coming up, people that I went to high school with at Bishop Garden. Um, people are coming you know, in from out of town to see it. So it's, you know, that's the other thing that's just so great about it is that you know, a lot of times you're out in, in Los Angeles where I work and you know, I, I'm not necessarily uh, telling people everything that I'm involved in. And, and to be able to share something that I've worked creatively on very, very hard and really is a part of me. It's a little bit different than just kind of doing an acting job on a television show or, or doing a small part in a movie to actually be part of what it takes to make an independent film and to then be able to present that to everybody. And, and you know, hopefully it'll be a warm audience. I hope they respond to the movie. I'm very proud of it. But, um, you know, I think that, you know, what I've found from some of the other festivals that I've gone to, and, and I, I'm already feeling this here, you know, being that I'm from New Hampshire, there's just this embrace that uh, your projects uh, feel that you don't necessarily feel in the, in the real world sometimes. So. Well, that means a lot to us. We opened the festival about four years ago with one of your previous works Which on one? Broadway. Oh, wow. And oh, it oh, was okay. by far one of the all-time festival favorites oh, in wow. all of our history. So it means so much to us to have you here with us to well, you know, open this year's festival. Well, Dave McLaughlin in that movie, the director of that movie, that was one of the great experiences I had. And, and when we did that movie, I think it was in, um, it was 2006 or 2007, yeah. and while I was working on that film, I was I was going to give the commencement speech at the same time, right in between shooting that film at UNH. And so I remember that period of time when I was working on that film and then getting ready to give the commencement speech at UNH and just being so inspired by the creativity of Dave, yeah. what they were trying to put together, and that really fueled me to try to write certainty and do the same thing. And Dave was. Um, you know, was a great supporter of mine in trying to get this film made because he knows what it's like to try to adapt a play into a screenplay, but also just all the moving parts that take, you know, uh, an independent film, you know, to, to get made. And, and a lot of it is, you know, it's guts, it's energy, it's enthusiasm, but, you know, the reward and kind of the venue that you guys are providing for people, for many of them, it's, it's the thing that helps them keep going to the next thing. And that's the thing is that, they, you know, a good festival is able to give people an audience that can see their film, expose people to their film, so that you know maybe if it doesn't necessarily do well at the box office or get sold, it won't prevent them from trying to write the next project and you know do the next thing. Absolutely. So you said this was Certainty was originally a screenplay. It was originally a, a stage play that um, that I um, that I wrote and was staged in Los Angeles, and then I adapted it into a screenplay. And at the time, I was working on a television show, so it was very, you know, I didn't have all the focus in the world, and I have three little kids, so, you know, I was in the middle of that, too. But um, the director, Peter Askin, who's going to be here at the festival today, he's amazing. And uh, he really, really hammered me on the structure and getting it right. And 
you know, his work on that, and, and really the, you know, the um, executive producer, Will Battersby, they really just pushed me to finish it, and they just made an amazing film. So what was the original inspiration behind the screenplay, or well, the, the uh, original yeah. uh, stage version? The stage version. Well, I, you know, I grew up Catholic, and, and I am Catholic, and uh, when you get married in the Catholic Church, you have to go through this thing that used to be called pre canon which would be like six Saturdays, you know, over two months. They now have this thing called Engagement Encounter. I think we call it Engaged Encounter uh, in the movie. <laughs> uh, and, and really what it is, it's a marriage preparation program where people go away for the weekend and the church and is, does the, you know, they, they run it ostensibly, run it, I don't know if I'm using that word right, but they, they host it. But volunteer married couples get up and give a talk and say, look, you know, this is what we thought marriage was going to be like. And then once we had kids and once this, this is how it changed. And maybe you should have an idea of what you want marriage to be um, in, in your relationship so you don't get disappointed or that you just not, just have an idea. Because I think the, the germ for the idea of this was that my sister went to her engagement account and she came back and she's like, you got to write a play about this. And I thought, because these two people, okay. well, we, well, the thing is, like, two people were arguing at the pre cana you know, because that's the thing, is, like, people yeah. go to this thing, and it's just like, why don't you ask each other, like, how many kids do you want to have, or would you move if, you know, your spouse got promoted, and you had yeah. to change jobs, and people don't think about it, and what they're saying is, like, maybe you should have this discussion, how many kids do you want to have, where do you want to live, you know, what are you afraid of, what do you want marriage to be, and I thought it was a really important thing to write about right now because I think more than ever before, before couples get married, I know that before I got married, I had, I had been in relationships with, you know, the women that I loved, and I've loved a lot of women, but, um, <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> but, you know, everyone's been in a relationship, a lot of people nowadays, when they're getting married later in their life, they've already had a relationship that when they really loved and cared about somebody, and were intensely emotionally involved with them, and then that ends. Yeah. And, so if love in and of itself is the thing that can, can go wrong, if you've been really in love with somebody and then you've moved on for whatever reason or they moved on, how is it going to be different when you're in a marriage? How do you, how do you make that the kind of love that you know, conquers everything? So it's, you know, some people are successful at it, some people aren't. Absolutely. And that's what I wanted to talk about in the play. Well, I, I thought it was movie. extremely well done. There are oh, so you. many films that explore these philosophical ideas about love, and this is such a unique take on the whole idea of marriage and relationships in a very concrete, very, you know, interesting way to look at it. And especially because nowadays people aren't as religious as they used to right. be, and, you know, there's something really, you know, special about that. Yeah, I think that there's, you know, what's what's interesting is that there are people who are, when they find themselves lost, or they lose a job, or they're depressed, or they're uncertain about where their life is going, they seek solace, and sometimes they seek solace in drugs and alcohol, or they seek solace in escape, or seek solace in something else, and sometimes they seek solace in religion. And at the core of this film is, if you love somebody and you think that you're doing everything that you can to be the best person you can be in that relationship. And then suddenly, you cannot be in control of whether or not they doubt their love for you. That's very upsetting. I mean, that that's, it's upsetting to be in love with somebody and then all of a sudden they go, eh. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's horrible. Absolutely. And so, yeah. you know, how do you, in, in, in a lot of ways, what I want to get at in this movie is how do you be the person that when you're even doubting your own relationship or someone, you know, you're know, you in a relationship or you have a friend who's in a relationship who's just like, I don't know, things aren't going so great. Just to not be like, ah, get out of there, get out of here. Because um, human beings are complex. I don't know if you know this, human beings are very complex. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, by the way, it's a comedy. There's a lot of laughs in this movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's just, I'm, I'm just, um, I'm very inspired by people trying to make their relationships work and um, the challenges that they face. And it's not a holier than thou attitude about, you know, marriage. It's, you know, there's other relationships that come up in this film where people are just like, look, I married the wrong person. I got to get out of here. I got one life to live. I'm yeah. gone. And I, but I think at the center of the movie is a couple that we're really rooting for, um, in that we 
see ourselves in them. At least that's what I'm hoping. Yeah. Um, how many years have you been married? I've been married 12 years. Yeah. I awesome. met, met my wife in uh, 94. Yeah, so yeah, met her in Boston and been married 12 years. We've got three, three great kids. Awesome. Good for you. One last question. Yes. What I'm is. I'm going to show a picture first. This is my son. Aww. This is my son, Declan. He spelled Declan. He gave me this last night. He said, I'm going to give you this so you don't forget me. That's a drawing. Of That's a drawing of Declan. <laughs> I want I want to meet an animator who can animate this character for me here this weekend. Uh, Declan's five. Awesome. Yeah. And um, and this is when he was doing LSD earlier that day. <laughs> Good trip. Good Looks trip. like he animated it himself. <laughs> um, what is the one thing that you are most looking forward to being back in New Hampshire? Well. You know, I'll be honest, the thing I'm most looking forward to is sitting in that theater and seeing the film screen with uh, people that I care about and, and uh, people who've come out to support the festival and being terrified that they laugh at the first laugh and every laugh after that. Um, but it's just being back here in this area, um, it really, you know, my father used to joke with me as, and say that I was nostalgic at age 14, but uh, I am, you know, someone who was always sort of hyper aware of moments when they were happening to me and this is a big moment in my life to be back here and you know, having this film here so thank you really. awesome well yeah. we couldn't be more excited to have you oh, it you. is definitely a major you know it's just feather in our cap for the film festival well, I, I, I think that you know what's one of the great things is that you know that you guys are providing for people also is that people from you know, I'm just a guy, guy from New Hampshire and I got encouraged you know a couple of my professors from, from UNH are going to be here tonight and you know, I think about them, like my freshman English professor Tom Newkirk, who he's a guy who you just teach in freshman English. You got to teach it to every freshman. And but he was a very inspirational teacher. And then my professor John Edwards, who's now he's got me in his 80s, he's the greatest guy. But he taught theater with such passion and cared about it so much. And you know, they didn't know that they were necessarily setting someone on a path, a journey of being an actor or being a writer will be able to make a living at it and do it. And it's just great to be able to be back here and, and, and share this moment with these men and, and some women over there, uh, Gay Nardone, who's a professor over there in the theater department, and just my mom and dad. I can't say it enough. I'm just happy to be here. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And we can't wait to see Certainty tonight at the Music Hall.